Hello everybody, my name is Smarty, short for Smarty Reads, and welcome back. Today I'm going to read chapter 12 of Mallory on Board. It's called Party Time. Before we begin, make sure you like this video, subscribe and turn on your post notifications so you know when I upload a new video. Also, share this video with your friends and family so they can watch me read as well. Other than that, let's begin. Party Time. Party time, says Frank. He stands up from the table. Everybody, follow me to the tuxedo lounge. We've got dancing to do. Every everyone follows Frank to the tuxedo lounge, and everyone looks like they're in a dancing mood. Everyone but one person, and that one person is me. I scrape my party shoes along the deck of the ship as we walk to the party. When we get to the tuxedo lounge, Frank throws open the doors. Welcome to the party, he says. When we walk inside, I'm amazed by what I see. There are real flowers everywhere and a real band playing music. Everything looks beautiful, she says Colleen. Frank smiles like he's glad she likes it. He takes her hand and they start dancing. Mom and Dad and Grandpa Winston and Aunt Alice and Aunt Emily and Joey and Marianne all join in. Even Winnie and Max start dancing, and I didn't think Max knew how to dance. I sit down in a chair in a corner and put my purse and camera down next to me. I watch while everyone dances. Looking at the Winstons and their matching Winston crew t-shirts makes me feel like I'm not part of this party at all. I look down at my watch. 8.11 p.m. I think about what Captain Nate said about how things can change unexpectedly. It doesn't seem like anything is going, it doesn't seem like anything is going to change unexpectedly tonight. Not even the minute hand on my watch. I look again. 8.13 p.m. This party just started and it feels like I've been here for a week. I wish I had something fun to do. I cross my right leg over my left. Then I uncross it and put my left over my right. I do, I do it six times and then I look at my watch again. 8.15 p.m. I cross and recross my legs. I look at my watch while I do it. I try to figure out how many times I can recross my legs in an hour. I'm so busy crossing and recrossing that I don't even notice when Joey and Marianne sit down beside me. Hey, Mallory, says Joey. Marianne and I want to know if you'll come out on the deck with us for a minute. I look at Marianne. She's holding something behind her back. We have a surprise for you, she says. Before I have a chance to say yes, I'll come, or no, I won't. Frank and, no, Marianne and Joey each take one of my arms and walk me out of the tuxedo lounge up onto the upper deck. Mallory, says Joey, Marianna, Marianne and I wanted to talk to you because we feel like we owe you an apology. I don't say anything when Joey says that because I'm not sure what to say. But Marianne does. Mallory, everything's been so crazy, ever, crazy and exciting ever since Frank and my mom decided to get married. It's like everything happened really fast. So much happened. And now we're here on this cruise. I shrug my shoulders. I still don't know what to say. Joey continues. You're our best friend. And ever since our parents decided to get married, we've both been so busy being part of that, we feel like we haven't, been, we haven't had so much time to be a good friend to you. The thing is, I start to tell Joey how, how left out I felt when they were taking family pictures and making family t-shirts and buying wedding presents for their parents. But before I can say anything, Marianne puts an arm around me. You're our best, best, best friend, and we're really sorry if we did anything that made you feel left out. I think about what Captain Nate said about things changing unexpectedly. I definitely wasn't expecting an apology, but getting one makes me feel better. I feel like I owe you an apology, too, I tell Marianne and Joey. They look at each other, and they look confused. For what? Joey asks. I look down at my party shoes. The, sho the toes are all scuffed. For running out of the wedding when I did. I know it was a really important time for both of you. 
It's just that watching my two best friends becoming a family was kind of hard. Marianne and Joey and Marianne both smile. Even though we're part of the same family now, you'll always be our best friends, says Joey. I smiled back at them. Thanks, and thanks for apologizing. That was a nice surprise. Marianne and Joey look at each other, and they both burst out laughing. That wasn't the surprise, says Marianne. She hands me what she's been holding behind her back. Th holding behind her back. This is a surprise. I look down at the bag Marianne is holding. I take it from her and take out the pink tissue paper that's sticking out of the top. Then I take out what's inside. When I do, I start smiling. A t-shirt, I say. I hold it up against my, against my body and read what's written on it. BFF of Winston Crew. It looks just like the other Winston Crew t-shirts. That's right, says Marianne. You're the official best friend forever of the Winston crew. We thought you needed the t-shirt, says Joey. So this morning, while Marianne and Winnie were getting their hair done, I asked Felix if he would let me back in the art room. I told him there was one more t-shirt we needed to make, and it was an important one. I smile at Joey. So that's why you were doing, so that's what you were doing when you couldn't go swimming? Joey nods his head yes. Don't you want to wear your shirt? He asks. I sure do, I say with a big smile. I slip my shirt over my party dress and put my arms around my best friends. I think about the wishes I made on deck with Dad. I guess the ocean makes a pretty good wish pond, because I feel like they're both coming true. Who's ready to party, I ask. Marianne and Joey nod their heads like they both are, and we all walk back to the tuxedo lounge. When we come back in, everyone crowds around us. Great shirt, says Frank. Don't do you want to take do you want me to take a picture of the three of you with together with your camera? Dad asks me. Sure, I say. Dad snaps a few pictures of us together, and then he gives me the camera. I didn't think I would want to take pictures tonight, but I take a lot of pictures at the party of everyone dancing and laughing and eating wedding cake. When the party is over, Felix and Captain Nate come into the ball and come into the room. Congratulations, Felix says to Frank and Colleen. When he sees me wearing my t-shirt, he grins. How do you like your surprise? I love it, I tell Felix, and I do love it. From the moment I put on, put, I put it on, I haven't been able to stop smiling. Captain Nate smiles at me. Looks like there's been a wind change and the night is ending on a good note, he says. And when he says that, I stop smiling. It's time for the night to end. I can't believe the fun has to stop. Captain Nate puts pats me on the head. I'm afraid the party's over, he says. Then Marianne puts her arm around me. And another one is just beginning. That's the end of that chapter. I'll see you next time when I read PJs and Popcorn. Bye, everyone.